They'll run it here. This is James White. And he spins away. Yeah, nice yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They keep it on the ground. White again. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock. You control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. From the gun on third down, Brady looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And all the way down to the 26. A big play, Brady to Gronkowski, 47 yards. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Throwing on first down is Brady. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. That'll bring up second down. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. David Irving in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Dwayne Allen in motion. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that when their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. here on first down firing quickly here and that's complete and he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down give him 12 yards there and the Dolphins have a first down I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers but they're still big people he used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Let's go! Hackenberg looks to throw it. And he slings one that's incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, third down here. That open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here we go. 
Hackenberg now. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here's big. That's what they were aiming for. You want to keep moving the sticks, get into a rhythm, gain confidence as you go along. And right now, mission accomplished. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Second down following the run. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Defense showing blitz. Play fake to Ajayi. It's Tannehill. He's going to fire one deep into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, why do you go out and spend a first-round pick on a defensive back? Plays like that. The rookie. his first interception. You have to have guys who can limit the other team's number of plays run and possessions. And no better way than an interception. And what a great way to break into the league. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Good luck trying to get your running game going against Ndamuk and Sue. I mean, he is so strong. Just trying to move him, take one guy, two guys, whatever. I wish you a whole lot of luck. He usually converts an offensive running game into rubble. On play action, now Brady. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Byron Maxwell. numbers you'll find as the temperature goes down so does the passing efficiency and now that we're in December even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks and this one it winds up getting picked off and a great spot to start this drive from here After the interception, here's Tannehill. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks, chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase him. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. Here's Tannehill, looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. Back to throw, Tannehill. 
he's got his man. That's Landry. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. Butker now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. Take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. with a run by White. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. And Cooks has it over the middle. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Hey, right, right. Let's go, let's go. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Goes underneath here to White. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Here's Tannehill looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Pass the 20, 10, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Derek Carrier, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. 
better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. On second down, here's Brady. That's complete to Cooks. And he's brought down after a good game. A very solid gain of 27. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They stay on the ground with White. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. Brady to throw on second down. The left side, it's Dorsett. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. now out of the gun and he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field so let's see about the call so on the big tight end holding each and every year we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college so it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding from the gun it's brady Quick hitter here, it's complete. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and 10. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag, because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Throwing on second down. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And hello, he's going to be knocked backward as he'll be marked down right around the 26. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field, and really making a big hit. Didn't knock it free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a toss play. This is White. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Brady now on third and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Dwayne Allen. His 
first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are back within a score. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Jakeem Grant now to return. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Right side complete to Butler. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. First down, Tannehill. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Gonna go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. That's caught by Butler over the middle. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Now a play fake here on first down. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it, the benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Here's Tannehill now on second down. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown. But I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Tannehill throwing again. Hard throw, incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, Bates said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And the kick by Butker is good. 
And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Brady now on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver, and it's second down. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Second down following the incompletion. Throwing again. Brady looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Raquan McMillan. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? <laughs> off play action, Tannehill. He's going to let one go deep for Pop. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Devontae Parker, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catches, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Tight end in motion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brady saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. To throw is Brady. And a man over the middle and it's complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. Three, 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 
They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. And his throw here's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Shotgun now for Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 19. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are season in December, of giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he throws. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. And some room to work. Jay Ajayi's going to go. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jay Ajayi, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Butker now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. In motion left goes a tight end. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing round. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast to Orlando, where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. is just moving in the wrong direction. 
I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. This is a Ajayi, and he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. He lost two, and it brings up four. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Patriots take over. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> and some room to maneuver, and he's brought down. That goes as a gain of 11, and a Patriot first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Throwing now is Brady. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Cameron Wake in there to get him. And that's sack number 12 for him on the year. To throw on second down. Brady. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Cameron Wake in there to drop him, and his great season continues. 13 sacks for him now on the year. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. In motion, Gronkowski. Now a play fake. Brady. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped. The yard or two short, and it's fourth down. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this one is right down the middle. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off that lead. And now you put the pressure on your defense, who didn't particularly play all that well in the first half. But they're going to need to step it up here and make some plays if these guys are going to have any chance. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. To throw is Tannehill. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down.
The Dolphins on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. Here's Tannehill. Throwing right, and that's complete. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Here's Ajayi. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. Time running out here on the play clock. They run again with a J. And he's brought down. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. That's how you get right up off of the map, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Right, right. hey, hey, hey. Tannehill got his man complete over the middle. It's Butler. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Now it's a Jay. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They run with a giant. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And this offense on third down today, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and goal. Now Tannehill. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Darren Waller, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving them up. Four touchdown passes, carving them up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Looking to throw on second down. Brady going down the middle, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. Back now in Foxborough. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four.
So the offense has it first and 10. Watch left, watch left. 20, 20, Throwing on first down is Brady. And now the middle, and it's complete. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to the 30-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first and 10, here's Brady. He's still caught at about the five. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On the toss, here's White. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? It's a loss of two, now third down. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. 55! Move 20! Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. Extra point try for Goskowski. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll start out on the ground with a J. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Gonna give this time to the tailback. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That good for 22 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They'll toss it to Ajayi. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Play clock winding down. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. And some extras coming up on the line here, ready for the blitz. Tannehill in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell, just run the football. I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they didn't get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Throw on second down is Tannehill. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Dolphins on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and two. And the play clock's running down. Here's Tannehill. scrimmage and it'll be fourth down the Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time he steps into this one and this is a rocket now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. 
Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. Brady. He's got it. The tight end, Allen. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Brady on third down. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Brady now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Now it's Brady. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. New England on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. Brady to throw again. He's got a man. It's Mitchell. And he's going to go out of bounds. He takes this one down shy of the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first down, Brady. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Lake in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Now Brady throwing on second down. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. David Irving in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. And he'll spike it with exactly 30 seconds now left on the clock. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Brady got to have this one. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Wake in there to get him, and that is sack number 15 for him on the year. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. The clock cannot be stopped here. Defense can't do anything. So, kneel it down, take it home. No doubt about it. It's what you practice for in winning situations each and every week. Victory formation. Take a knee and go on into the locker room and celebrate. Call it a victory. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in.